how to install a wall safe by Metal Bum. So I'm here, got my little tools. Um, you gotta install this, which is very simple because you basically have to find the studs in the wall. And what you're gonna do is we're basically going to put three screws and it, this thing, it comes with these little tiny screws, but I'm gonna put these long ass bolts that basically go into the wall. This is all soldered here, so what I'm doing is a little overkill, but I'm gonna put in these stronger bolts. Earlier I changed the code to only one that I know, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this real quick. This is where we're gonna be installing it, right here in this wall here, and I've already measured it. I marked it 16 inches from the wall 22 inches from here to the bottom. Now I'm going to start cutting. And I'll show you guys once it's done. I'm going to cut out this drywall. I already made sure that there's no electric in this wall first. We're going to find the studs and then we're going to put, put in this safe. Now the way you guys are going to want to do this um, is you're going to need four real tools. You need a drill to drill in the little holes, the three bolts. Then you're gonna need a tape measure. I already measured it, it's 16 by 22. Drill, and then you're gonna need something like this to cut the drywall. And to start with the drywall, you're gonna cut. start with something like this. It's just a regular blade. And notice that there's this lip, so it doesn't have to be perfect to cut. It just has to fit this, and hopefully there's a stud. And I'll find out soon, if there's no stud, if there's no wood, basically, to bolt this to, I'm gonna have to add my own wood, nail it in, so that it fits this. And then, and that's how that safe goes. That's that, that lip that goes around and that's just gonna cover it so it looks nice and clean. But I'm putting this in an inconspicuous place. I'll show you real quick. What you wanna do typically when you install a safe is you don't wanna just put the safe out in the middle of the open. This is within a closet, so there's a door here and then inside of the door, there's gonna be the safe and over the safe, you're gonna place something to cover it. For instance, you can cover it with these, the suit. So, and even over that, you can put like a poster here or something. So basically you cover something over something over something and you have like several layers of security. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I already X the spot. I marked where I'm gonna cut and that's the outer cut, but I'm gonna mark some inner cut for that, uh, where the safe goes to the stud. And hopefully, is where we're gonna get a stud right around here. A stud here and a stud here, but we'll see when I open it up. Little change of plans, guys. Um, this is drywall. So part of the house is drywall and part of the house is plaster. Older houses have plaster. This one happens to have drywall, I lucked out. So I'm able to just score that over and over with this blade. And I'm actually just cutting, like the entire safe is gonna go in here but I'm just planning by cutting this out to see where the studs are. And after I remove this, I'll um, show you. So I'm still scoring with this blade. Oops, that's uh, extra insurance for prepping and for protection. But uh, I'm still in my, uh, my handy dandy uh, uh, closet here and I'm still cutting away at this. You just score it like two, three times on each side and then I'm gonna hopefully poke this out and watch, it'll just pop out right there just like that. And now, what I'm gonna do is see what's in this wall. There's all sorts of things you can do. You can make this into a fake bolt wall. You can make this into like a, you actually don't even need a safe. The safe, I'm just putting this down here. Excuse me. Just uh, this, this right here, see where the studs are. Okay, just like I thought. There's a stud right here, two by four. The other stud, is on this left side, it's actually right here. Perfect. So they built the safe exactly for these more modern houses. Um, this this wall was built later than the actual house it was, so they, they built this on about 16 inches from stud to stud. So hopefully, I'm just gonna cut this a little more now that I put my hole and I know where everything is in this closet, and I'm gonna go ahead and install that safe in here, guys. Okay, if you guys are still following me, um, it's 22 inches on the inside, so I'm just gonna cut a hole 22 inches down 
I'm gonna score it right down there on 22 inches. And this is kind of hard with uh, me holding this, but I already scored it. Not scored it, but I marked it right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Uh, what did I say? 20 inches by 14 inches because that's the inside di diameter. No, that's not the right word. It's the inside cutout for that box. And then that outer lip is going to be 22 by 16. So the inside is 20 by 14 and the outside is going to be 20 by uh, 22 by 16. So I'm just trying to do this really fast, guys. I'm actually procrastinating on work I'm supposed to do. But instead, I'm showing you guys how to install a safe. All right, guys, I scored the wall all the way around thoroughly. Put this on because my freaking hand hurt. I don't know if this drywall is different on this side, but it was fucking hard to cut right here. I was just doing it by hand to not create a lot of dust. Oh, you guys didn't know about my Kung Fu. That's my Kung Fu, homie. Anyways, that's where the thing's gonna go. That's the back of the safe. That's that lip that I was talking about that goes on the outside. Once it's done, I will show you the entire thing. All right, boys and girls, that's the inside. That's my cut right there. And I just need to kind of uh, scrape this out so that it's a nice snug fit. I like a nice snug, snug fit. Make sure that this is level, unnecessary, but I'm gonna make sure that this is level before I put it in. There's gonna be three screws on this side, three on this side, bolted in. Um, there's nothing on the bottom here. You could put a piece of two by four on the bottom. By the way, I used to build houses too. I do a little construction. I do real estate investing also, so I'm a developer, but I'm also an investor. So I know kind of the, usually it's 14 inches, but it's a two by four, two by four, 16 inches. That's it guys, this is drywall. This is half inch drywall. Half inch right there. On the outside, it's usually five eighths for fire rated. Yeah, that's it. And then, so I'm just gonna score around here, keep it clean. Once this is all done, it'll be nice. Voila. That is how you install it. Notice this outer lip. That's what I was saying. Makes it a clean, nice flush. What I'll be doing is I'll put a false wall over this so that there's multiple layers of hiding this. So what you want to do, for instance, is if you put this in the middle of your house, you put a painting over or a mirror with hinges, for instance, to come out, or you do some sort of false wall. Um, you could put uh, a painting here, something like that, but this is actually inside of a closet. So I'll have, I'll have a false uh, drywall. It'll just be a paper. It's probably spray painted, so it'll look like part of the wall opening. Then I'll put like clothes on top of it, hanging from, from the rack. And then I'll have a door, maybe even a lock on the door. So it'll be three or four layers of protection. And then you also want to have a security system. You might want to have a little extra security, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, this is how you do it. So by the way, guys, I don't even have it bolted in yet, but I'll, I think you guys get the drift. You just get the gist. I don't know what the hell you call it. But see that right there, that's where you bolt it. I'm gonna put bigger bolts, very large bolts I got. Drill it into this, nobody's getting into this. If they really want to, come at me bro, but honestly, I'm not gonna be putting, I'm just gonna be putting silver in here. Gold's gonna go to the bank vault. They're gold. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and open this son of a gun. It's hard to do stuff while filming. I need a, a cameraman or something. So I get easily distracted, but this is how it's going to be. I still haven't bolted it in, but um, see, those are where the bolts are going to go. They actually, all they did was gave me this little freaking bag that has these tiny little screws, but I'm going to put some big bolts in there. Not like it matters. I mean, this thing is super thick. It's a good gauge for a safe. Um, by the side, the, the thing about any safe is they say that any safe just slows down good thieves. It's going to slow down the good thieves. It's not going to completely repel them which is why I don't I think if you get a certain amount of gold and silver you should put it in the bank vault um that's just me but uh, some people um don't uh, believe in that they'd rather uh risk it but it's also could be risky and I, I understand the argument that uh if there's a bank run or something crazy um 
it's understandable that you might want to just hide it somewhere. Perhaps somewhere not at your own house, perhaps at uh, you know your grandma's, you put it up in the attic in a very inconspicuous place. Uh, or, or you know, if you have an office or something somewhere else, you put it in that. Uh, I'm kind of assuming that, that maybe you own it or you're leasing the office yourself, but I guess if you're not a business owner, you probably don't have your own office. And uh, I'm also assuming you have your own home uh, to put something like this in, but uh, who knows, you know? If you don't want to put this in and you're renting a house, then uh, then uh, just just hide it somewhere. But anyways, I'll I'll let y'all go. I just wanted to quickly uh, show you guys how to how to do this. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to hold this and talk. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, bolts in. All right, guys, it is fully installed. I'm gonna go ahead and push my little key here. And boom, that is it fully installed, seamless in the wall. And I put little uh, things, uh, put little pads here. These are felt pads that came with it. Pretty sweet, it came with these awesome felt pads. I don't know what I'd do without these. This is very thick stuff. Um, in the camera, it doesn't look that thick, but this is very well built. Until next time, guys, happy stacking. This is Metal Bum. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, I almost forgot. It's not silver, but it's a start. All right, guys, happy stacking. See you next time. All right, there we go.